Here's your daily sports rush from Sports Not for September 10th, 2024. Hey, sports fans, welcome back to the Daily Sports Rush from Sports Not. I'm Scott Branson, and if you blinked this weekend, you probably missed some wild stuff. So let's hit the gas and dive into today's top stories, because trust me, it's quite a ride. Aaron Rodgers' return to the gridiron? Spoiled by who, you ask? Jordan Mason. Wait, who? Yeah, the 49ers fill in running back. While Rodgers was supposed to be the comeback king, Mason ran circles around the Jets with 147 yards and a touchdown. The Niners stomped their way to a Monday night victory, 32 to 19, and a win that turned Rodgers' big return into meh Monday. Rodgers tossed a TD, but also threw a pick saying, I can play better. Bro, we've all seen better. Meanwhile, Mason's over here eating up the Jets' defense like it's an all-you-can-eat buffet. Welcome back, Rodgers, but Mason's the real MVP this week. Let's shift gears because the Rams are in trouble, folks. Puka Nakua, breakout star of the year, is now on IR with a PCL strain. That's right, out for at least four games. And guess what? The offensive line also falling apart like a Jenga tower. Three starters are banged up, leaving poor Cooper Cup to play Superman once again at 31. The Rams are duct taping their roster together for their next matchup. Week two against the Cardinals? Yeah, it's looking rough. LA, fingers crossed for you now. Woo. Speaking of rough situations, how about that Tyreek Hill body cam video? The Dolphin star had a run-in with Miami-Dade police, and when I say run-in, I mean dragged out of his car run-in. Hill wasn't moving fast enough for the cops. Guess those speed stats don't transfer off the field. The situation escalated fast with Hill face first on the ground. Yikes. Hill says he's embarrassed by the whole thing, and I think we all are, Tyreek. No arrests, but not exactly the highlight reel anyone wants to see before kickoff. And finally, in baseball, the NL wildcard race is heating up like your dad's barbecue grill on game day. We've got four teams, the Padres, Diamondbacks, Mets, and Braves fighting for three spots. The Padres got Fernando Tatis Jr. back, which helps, but 11 of their last 17 games are on the road. Meanwhile, the D-backs have been on fire, but cooled off in September. And the Mets, well, they're hanging on, hoping that pitching carries them through the chaos. The Braves are bruised, but Chris Sale's return has been a bright spot. This race is about to explode like a home run in extra innings, and I'm here for it. All right, that's our Blitz for today. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay tuned tomorrow for more Sports Madness. Same time, same channel, same sports rush. Make it a great day, everybody.